Well, hello and welcome back to another video. My name is Sam, and today we're back on Need for Speed Porsche 2000. Uh, and uh, yes, as promised earlier, we're gonna do the freaking wheel on Porsche 2000. Normally you'd do the wheel on games such as Dirt 4 and Assetto Corsa, but not today. Today we're doing it on Porsche 2000 uh, and uh, it's going to be uh, absolutely great. Uh, we're gonna um, continue doing the evolution mode and I've been doing some progress on my own. Last episode we were uh, in the 1950s era, now we're in the 1965 era and um, right now we're progressed so that we can use a 911. So uh, let's see here, we, we actually do need to go to, to the garage and uh, actually buy one. Yes, here we go. This is uh, it's just one of the most beautiful cars that just exists. <laughs> like if there's one classic car that I absolutely love the look of the, this is it the 911 just look at it it's just perfection uh so we're gonna buy this uh let's have a blue interior because why not uh and uh that white looks really good uh and uh yes i think we're gonna actually maybe we should make it green just like in need for speed 2015. here we go now we're going to race the 911 with the thrustmaster t 150 here we go so um i want to tell you that there's pretty much absolutely no force feedback on right now um i was testing this earlier just to make sure it actually worked and it does work but uh when you have the force feedback on um it it makes this really 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 annoying uh, bumpy like it's constantly bumping your wheel uh and it's really annoying so i just turn it off and uh, so we don't have to deal with that uh, so uh, yes but this I, I just tried for like a few minutes earlier uh, and it, it does feel nice to play this game with a wheel uh, like it feels like you feel like you have a bit more control uh, actually which is really nice so uh, you know there's there's a benefit to using the wheel in this game even though there's I'm not using a uh, force feedback uh, it's actually quite nice Like that, like controlling um, a loss of traction is really easy with the wheel. Actually, let's go into the interior of this car. Here we go. Um, I remember when I saw like these old Porsches for the first time. I, was, I just thought that, you know, obviously I really like the look of them. Uh, but I was thinking like, hmm, maybe I should like that could be a car that I could buy in the future, like a cheap car because it's so old. But um, well. Obviously, obviously, we know that's far, far, far from the truth. Obviously, these are really freaking expensive, these cars, unfortunately. Uh, so they're pretty unobtainable unless you want to pay, uh, I don't know, what, what can you pay for these? Like, like 100,000, like, I mean, I'm pretty sure you can pay like 200,000 for like a really, really nice example. Um, and I mean, obviously... There are way, way, way more expensive cars out there, uh, but uh, maybe I wouldn't choose to buy a, a 911, like an old 911, if I had a hundred thousand to spend or a two two hundred thousand. Maybe I'd rather buy something like a um, supercar, an actual supercar. But that's what's good about the um, slightly newer uh, Porsches, like uh, the nine uh, nine nine six. Uh, like they're not that new, but they're s they're uh, still decently old, As and that's where you can real. Okay, what am I doing? What the frick am I doing? Over the finish line in fifth place. That wasn't <laughs> exactly the greatest race. Um, immediately when you're uh, racing these uh, faster cars, you can you tell that the uh, races are getting harder. So let's focus a little bit more in this next race, and uh, let's not come last. Alright, so it keeps going. So we're racing on Pyrenees. Uh, yes. Alright. Just a little bit smashed up. That's completely alright. Let's go. Okay, can you... Yes, first gear. That's very good. Everyone is passing me right now. So this time let's try to actually finish the race. Uh, at least in second. That would be nice. I remember the first few races were like super easy. But uh, like, as soon as I come into these cars, 
I can't keep up with them. I feel so crap. Like, oh, why am I not be able to keep up? Like, there's just no way that I can freaking catch up to them. Um, all right, that was that was that. Fifth place again. Um, I'm not sure how to do this. Art this time we need to do just f f focus really, like a lot, if we wanna come in first here because I don't know. This is just confusing. I remember in last episode. I was just like, it was so easy, like they, they, there was no way that I could lose. But in this, I'm just struggling to even come in third, like I can't do that. Like I just need to take the lines perfectly, like I don't, I don't get how the difficulty could be raised this much in a matter of just one race, because literally the last time I picked up this game, it just wasn't this difficult at all. Don't do any mistakes here, oh crap, they're, they're crashing, what the frick is this? I haven't seen that before. Oh, okay, that, well that's good for me. Very good for me. Oh, apparently I'm in third now. That's good. Let's just keep this up. Well, at, at least it's good that this is not just super easy. Um, I'm still... A, I think it's pretty much on <laughs> beginner's difficulty still, but... Um, okay, we go. Break, break. Here we go. Just lift the throttle. Here we go. Check down. There we go. We're, we're getting closer. Oh, we're going this way. This piece of crap needs to be passed. Like, if we, if we don't... Oh, I just missed, like, the best shortcut ever. Oh, maybe it wasn't such a good shortcut. Let's just go. Oh. I just looked at the map and I just crashed. And now we're still in third. So ju just, let's just go ahead and end my life right now. There we go. Can pass you, freaking idiot. There we go. Get wrecked, son. There we go. We're on our way. Second place. Way better than last time. Uh, okay, so we need to keep this up now. Let's not mess up. Just focus on the road. Don't look at the map. Now, I don't know what where first place is. He, he's just... I, don't, I, I think, it, yeah, he's finished. H how has he finished? Freaking... That's... Class A cheating. That's freaking cheating on... Yes. But yeah, there we go. Um, so apparently we need to step our game up if we want to keep up with these AI. Uh, so that's a good thing. A little bit of a challenge. So I think we're going to end off this episode right here. I'm going to play some on my own uh, and progress a little bit. Uh, and so, so maybe the next episode we're going to play with some uh, newer cars. And uh, we'll see what that will be. Uh, but I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have, then you can leave a like, show the like it, and you subscribe to see more of my videos, including this series. Uh, tell me what you think about the, the, this. Do you like these videos? Should I c continue doing them? Uh, if you think so, then leave a like and um, then make sure to leave a comment saying so. Uh, but yes, thank you for watching. My name is Sam, and I'll see you in my next video.